Hey guys, welcome back to Ari the Stag. It's TR Tony here, sat in a rather uh, uh, windswept uh, location. The garage is uh, about to be buffeted, I think, by 70 mile an hour winds and rain that's headed in over Bournemouth over the weekend. So thought I'd seek refuge down the garden. And here we are. Welcome back. Uh, sorry I've been off the radar for a little while. We've been uh, out and about running around the country, as many of you may know, with my uh, uh, business consulting job. So a uh, bit difficult to broadcast whilst on the hoof. Nevertheless, here we are. Hope you've been enjoying the videos so far. Um, and yeah, on the kind of social media front, we've got uh, the Ari the Stag group now up and running. So uh, if you haven't done already, please feel free to send us a request and I'm sure that we'll get you on board. Um, we've had quite a bit of activity actually lately, uh, people sending in photographs of the different projects that they're up to and that kind of thing, which has been really good. Uh, and there's a guy uh, called Martin who's down under in Victoria, Australia, uh, who's sent in a few photographs of his He's actually got two cars, would you believe? Two Triumphs, lucky chap. He's got a brace of uh, Triumphs. He's been retired 13 years and uh, is living the dream with these two Triumphs. Uh, one of which happens to be a 1977 Triumph Stag. It's a Mark II, I believe. So uh, I'll, I'll just check out that with you in a moment. Um, and the other car is a blue Triumph 2000. It's a Mark I Triumph 2000. So he's uh, uh, spoilt for choice, whether it's a two plus two or a four seater, uh, he seems to be very happy. So that's it. Let's just have a quick look then and uh, I'll show you what he's been up to. So here is Martin and uh, he's standing proudly by his two Triumphs. He's been a Triumph fanatic forever, he says, and uh, since retiring 13 years ago, absolutely enjoys his Trumpies, as he calls them. And don't they look great there in the Australian sunshine in uh, uh, beautiful red and uh, a lovely blue up together both of them of course and uh, well garaged and looked after and driven and enjoyed I believe both at the same time. Um, it's quite a bit he's done to the Mark II Stag it's uh, a late one as we said it's a 1977 uh, edition so it's uh, pretty up together. He has been busy he's done electronic ignition to it he's uh, built in an electric fan as well as upgraded the expansion tank which is a common job to do on these to maximize the cooling effect. Um, he's also put a new soft top on it fairly recently and that's uh, looking resplendent in the uh, summer sunshine and uh, also recovered the front seats and uh, adjusted and changed the latches on the soft top. He's actually hit a problem here. He's uh, managed to break the release cable, uh, the release cover cable. It snapped off, so he's looking at some uh, help, please, guys. If anybody's done that job, he'd be very interested. Um, under the bonnet, he's taken a pragmatic approach and has looked at a very simple um, emergency bonnet release mechanism. As you know, if you get the bonnet stuck um, with your Bowden cable broken, it's good to have a fallback to be able to open the bonnet simply without having to fork around underneath. And then finally, he's put in a new choke cable on the right-hand side, which uh, saves a stretch over on the left and uh, is working very well. And for those that have done this job, you know it's quite tricky. There's two wires that go to both carburetors. And then finally, he's uh, built his own hard top um, contraption that can store his hard top in the summer. So he can wheel that around the garage at will and has saved a lot of money in doing so and keeps the hard top safe as well. So that's the Triumph Stag Mark II and uh, we'll now move on to the Mark I uh, 2000 Triumph which again is a beautiful car. This uh, he's had uh, for quite some time. It uh, still has the original engine in fact. Uh, he's overhauled the carburettors and tuned them. It's got new front shocks on board and he's reupholstered the front seats and the door cards inside. Um, the rear seat is still original apparently and he's repaired the original radio such that uh, you'd never know um, it's uh, completely original and, and still works very well. Um, and I'm told it starts with a, a little choke first time every time which is fantastic to see. And finally Martin took us this photograph of Oscar the dog, his dog who has sadly since passed away but uh, he decided he'd send this in. It was a bit of fun as the dog was very keen to drive the Triumph as you can see here and he's put a caption, I told you I could drive this beastie and uh, so uh, we wish him well and uh, as he says at least the dog got his license whilst he was with him. <laughs> There you go. So there's Martin's set of Triumphs and we congratulate him very much for sharing his joy with us. 
All right, guys, so I think you'll agree with me what a uh, fantastic couple of cars is that uh, that Martin's got there, that beautiful Mark II and the Mark I, um, just stunning cars and uh, living the dream down there in Australia. Uh, congratulations, Martin. Thanks for sending in the photos. Um, as ever, as you know, those that uh, do good things for uh, Ari the Stag channel uh, by showing their stags and uh, uh, letting us have a good route around, uh, get good stuff from us. And I'll come back to that in just a second. I mean, he is uh, uh, fond of his trumpies, as he calls them, and he's been a, a Triumph fanatic for a well over, well, a lifetime, I think, basically, uh, talking to Martin online the other day. So great to see. Um, as you know, as I say, we award good things for people who do good things for the, uh, the Triumph Stag mark and indeed for Ari the Stag. And so, as many of you will know, there is actually uh, an accolade to be won here. It's the uh, Harry the Stag Bobble Up, which, as you can see here, I'm sporting. So uh, he's now uh, officially one of the King Bobble Ups. Um, Australia being a bit far for us to travel to, but nevertheless, we can get there via the airwaves and the internet. So that's all good. So that's that. And uh, separately, because uh, we also know it's summer down there, maybe a Bobble Up might not be quite the appropriate thing to be uh, wearing this summer. Um, I don't know what the temperature is in Victoria, but I don't suppose it's uh, very cool. Uh, probably quite hot getting towards the height of uh, summer now. Um, then he'll be needing these, which is uh, a new line in from Ari the Stag. We have some official Ari the Stag uh, sunglasses, which are UV 400 protected as well. We have uh, uh, Ari the Stag down one side and sharing the classics dream down the other, or the other way around. But uh, yeah, pretty cool, eh? I think they're, uh, they're so there with our compliments, Martin. Uh, thanks for doing all the good stuff that you've done and sending in your photos and uh, hope you'll enjoy them. They're in the post on the way to you right now. Now, one or two of you may be thinking, well, this is very well, Tony, but you know, bobble hat and sunglasses don't really go together, do they? Yes, but they do, because if you think we are now coming into the skiing season, uh, then we have the option of the new look on the slopes in uh, late 2019 and 2020. You've got the bobble hat to keep your ears warm, um, if I know I can put it around the right way, and uh, sunglasses to stop you going snow blind. Perfect. <laughs> we love contingencies here. Good. All right, so um, rather than looking a bit of an idiot with some of my neighbours looking in through the windows at this Burke wearing bobble hats and sunglasses in November, um, I better take them off. Good. OK, thanks very much for watching then, guys. Really appreciate uh, the dialogue. Please feel free to, to chip in. If anybody's got any ideas on his um, uh, cable, uh, plastic cable uh, replacement process, he'd be very interested. So I did say I'd put a shout out out there for him. So please feel free to use the dialogue box below. Um, check out us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, and all the rest of it. And uh, feel free to comment, like, and subscribe as ever, and enjoy this wonderful dream that we're on to together. Good stuff. Have a great weekend, guys. And we'll see you online on Ari the Stag very soon. Cheers for now. Just thought we'd try out a slightly different uh, Ari the Stag merchandise option. Um, not sure if it'll take off in the UK, but might do quite well down under. <laughs> Especially with the Ari the Stag sunglasses facilities. Yeah, it's pretty cool, eh? Time your kangaroo down, sport.